This right here is clip two of my turkey neck and turkey back mukbang video. Starring to the left, my eight week old Lycan Shepherd Ulu. And on the right there, my uh, eight week old Renaissance Bulldog, Ogren. Ogren's two days older than Ulu. Ogren right now has a turkey neck and Ulu's munching on a turkey back. This is clip two. I already filmed uh, clip one, which by the time this gets uploaded to my channel, if it gets uploaded, uh, clip one will already be up there. As I said in clip one, this is uh, kind of like watching the circus. You get uh, you don't know which uh, ring to look into. You got Ulu uh, to the left in ring one, and uh, Kurgan to the right in ring, in ring two. Or Ogren, did I say Kurgan? Not enough coffee this morning, evidently. She's such a cutie. She reminds me so much of her dad, Kurgan, at this age. I feed my dogs what's called the barf diet. I know I probably sound like a uh, broken record to those who watch my videos all the time, but uh, I rehash this for new people who might stumble across them. I feed my dogs what's called the BARF diet. BARF is an acronym which stands for Biologically Appropriate Raw Foods. It's a diet created by veterinarian Dr. Ian Billinghurst. He wrote some very good books on the subject. One's called Give Your Dog a Bone and those called uh, Grow Your Pups with Bones. I'll provide links to those in the video description. Along with some links to some uh, online resources if you want to learn more about feeding raw and want to get started and uh, some other YouTube videos uh, about feeding raw that uh, I recommend Ulu has been uh, eating raw meaty bones since she was four weeks old she's now eight weeks you can see she's beautiful and healthy as can be Ogren over there has been eating raw meaty bones since he was five weeks old. He also is healthy as can be. Yeah, cutie. these guys first taste of turkey before they've had lots of chicken they've had beef but they've uh, never had turkey they also had a little bit of venison I gave them some venison last week that I got from a friend of mine
can see even at eight weeks they're able to chew up and process that bone you want to make sure when you give them raw meaty bones that they're giving you stuff you're giving them stuff that's large enough where they have to chew off bite-sized pieces of it you don't want to give them pieces that are so small that they can gulp them down without chewing them adequately often freezing the food We'll prevent those that like to gulp them down too because they have to chew it up more if it's frozen. And I like to pet them while they're eating stuff like this. Gets them used to being handled when they're eating food. Oh, stop it. You know, it prevents anything like food aggression. You want them to get used to you touching them when they're eating stuff like this. Your hand by their mouth, on their head. Just like kids, they want the other one's toy. <laughs> some water on her head and neck she was playing in the water bowl prior to this she loves water I really like her a lot I think I made the right pick she's really smart she's got really nice structure she's a uh, Nice straight back, nice big bone in her legs, tight feet, big head, and she's really smart. Around through her legs, but uh, she's not cooperating with us. <laughs> you can see him just in the background there, eating his neck. second clip of uh, a couple eight week old puppies eating a turkey carcass. Hope you enjoyed it. I know the puppies did.
working on that neck. He's just about to have that thing fully eaten. Again, you can see what a workout they get eating raw like this too. Well, that's all folks like subscribe and share hit that little notification bell next to the subscribe button and uh, you'll get notified uh, by email when my next videos come out that's all folks bye bye from mrs ulu or miss ulu and goodbye from ogren mr ogren